are you looking for another way of sharing visual content on Instagram, which doesn't rely on one photograph or one static graphic? You may have a lot more that you want to say. And now that old phrase, a picture says a thousand words is true. But what if you have the opportunity to share a bit more, add some more value, add some more context and give your audience a stronger and much more impactful visual experience? You may have seen the Instagram carousels or the multiple post images on Instagram that personal brands and businesses have been sharing. However, if you're not sure how to create one or plan one, then keep watching. In this video, I will give you some tips on how to build and plan these Instagram carousels in a way that tells a story, reveals some tips or provides snippets of knowledge to your audience. It could be step by steps, behind the scenes, reveals, there's so many different ideas that you can use. I'll also be following up this video with how you can go about creating these once you plan them in Canva. So watch out for that video. These are a great way of sharing content if you plan them and create them in the right way. I'm Claire Jenks and I help businesses create visually standout content in order to help them get new fans, followers, members, clients, all whilst adding value. If you're new here, please remember to press subscribe and hit the bell for new notifications of new videos. But for now, let's jump right in. First up, let's have a think about what you would like to share. Now, this is the first point in building these carousels out. What is the purpose of building this carousel? Think about the carousel as a story rather than individual panels and slides. Is it gonna be a process of something? Are you gonna share snippets of knowledge, a step-by-step -step guide behind the scenes? It might be something that reveals an offer at the end. Um, or maybe a competition. All of these work well to create a visual experience for your audience, whilst also building brand awareness, building brand trust, and that memorability as well. So plan out what will be on each slide. And remember, they don't always need to be always text, always graphics, always photographs, always video. You can use all these different types of medium in these carousels. Mix it up a bit and use what will work best for your purpose and what will also fit within your brand. For example, you can share up to 60 seconds on an Instagram video within the feed. However, you have up to 10 slides within a carousel. That is 10 minutes of content that you can share with your audience if it's relevant. You don't need to use all 10 slides, you could use three, four, five, or 10, whatever works best in order to get your message across in the most concise and experiential way that keeps your audience engaged and also adds that value that they need. As I say, you don't need to use all 10 possible slides within your carousels, it might be that you only need three. But how I go out and plan is that I draw out my individual slides either on paper or I also use post-it notes too because they're a great way that you can then reshuffle where things sit within those slides. And because you're working in a linear format and a linear narrative, it works well that you can write on each one what you want to say and how it works well and how it flows as a story. So try that as a way of planning out your Instagram carousels. There are so many different ideas that you can incorporate into these carousels, so many possibilities. However, the best ones always start at the planning stage. Instead of jumping straight into Canva to start creating graphics or jumping straight into Instagram to put together these carousels, start by planning out, get out the post-it notes and write on each one how this story is going to work. And that is how you will give your audience the biggest and most memorable visual experience. With so many ideas and possibilities, and instead of me talking at you and trying to explain all these different ideas, I thought it might be best to put together some examples of real life brands and businesses that are using Instagram carousels in different ways really well. So let's dive on in and take a look at some real life examples. This is a brilliant idea and an example from Lego. So if you have a product business or you are thinking about step-by-step, -step, then this is a great way and it's also so much fun. So it fits in with their brand really nicely. So what does your gingerbread man look like? And 
they've used Instagram carousel in a way that shows you how to build a gingerbread man, which fits in so nicely with what Lego are all about. And as I say, in a fun way too. So you scroll through the Instagram carousel and you create your gingerbread man. So this is a brilliant way of using Instagram carousels to show a step-by-step -step process of how to build something. And this could work well in many different um, businesses, whether it's a product or a service. Um, it could be the step-by-step -step of how to produce a Facebook ad or a step-by-step -step on how to come up with a blog idea. So it doesn't necessarily have to work just for products, but also services as well. Next up, we've got the membership guys and the membership guys are very well known for helping others and support them in creating their own membership sites. So in this example, they have repurposed a blog post that they've written. So they've taken the blog post from their website and they have created a headline cover which also fits in line with the rest of their branding. They have then broken down their blog post into the key points. So they've given an overview of what the blog is all about. They've then broken down the key points of that blog into individual images. And alongside that, the text from the blog. So this is a great visual way of repurposing your content that you have already produced elsewhere and bringing it through into an Instagram carousel. When you're doing this, make sure that your images and your style and your graphics all fit in with your current branding as well. That'll make sure that you are impacted. And again, people will recognize the content if they've seen you elsewhere, whether it be on your website. Um, this is a great way of repurposing blog content. It can also be used, repurposed from video content audio content there's so many different ways but an example of repurposed content for a blog used as an instagram carousel this is another style of instagram carousel this time from later and they have used it in a way that each individual image lines up with the next one so this is a educational piece of content drive traffic and track revenue from instagram and as you can see, they've got a bit of a timeline going on here. You can see the process again. It is a process driven educational piece, giving snippets and highlighting the important information within the process of this carousel up until the end. So again, we've only got four carousel slides on that one, all showing you how to drive traffic and attract revenue from Instagram highlighted the key points. Again, this could be a repurposed piece of content from a blog post, which goes into more depth. If anybody knows me, a lot of my presentations and content involve food. So first up is the food category is just roll. And these are great with their Instagram. They don't just show pictures of beautiful food. They will also show you an insight on how to create that food too. Or the process of it. So again, another process driven carousel, but using static images to entice you in to the final product. So they'll show you the ingredients, how to create and the final product. Again, just a lovely way of using a simple carousel. Next on the food front is BuzzFeed Tasty. Now I spend a lot of time scrolling through their Instagram and they use videos within their carousels to show how to create something. So again, we're looking at product based, but it could quite simply be service too. And on their first one, they've shown an insight or a bit of a um, glimpse into what they're creating. The first carousel shows the first half of the recipe and the second carousel shows the second half of the recipe. And it's a great way video itself works so well in terms of engagement and holding the viewer's attention, especially if it's a recipe that you're following along to too. So another option of incorporating video into your carousels. Another great way of carousels is sharing testimonials. Now, especially if you do workshops or you've got events and things like this, so Social Pip does lots of brilliant Instagram workshops and she has pulled together all the testimonials 
from her past workshops. These are great way because they give a great snippet into the event, what people thought about it. Um, and because they're all grouped together and themed well, they work lovely. And then she's upsold by saying there's more in workshops to come. So a great way of using testimonials and grouping them together by event, workshop or theme in your Instagram carousels. This is a event recap on a carousel from Andrew and Pete. So they hold a event every year called Atomic. They also hold an event called Atomic X, which happens at Christmas time. And they rounded up all the photographs from their event and pulled them into an Instagram carousel. Again, it's a great way of showing the members behind their membership and who's involved. It's a great way of those people then sharing and tagging themselves um, into their stories, for example, and getting more reach. And again, it gives a nice little highlight and an insight into what happened to that event, creating FOMO, getting more people interested in the next one. And yeah, lovely way of using carousels to highlight an event recap. Lastly, we have got Barber, the makers of the wax jacket, and they have pulled together a competition carousel. So they have started with a cover image about what is going to be won with images of their product. And they've let you know how to enter the competition and given you some inspiration on what images that you could take um, in order to enter this competition. So again, a nice little way of giving some insight into the product that they have, their user generated images too. So they had people supply it content to them and then wrap it all up in a competition carousel. So I hope those examples gave you some inspiration and ideas on how you can use Instagram carousels in your business and also use the tip of how to start building and planning them before you dive in to using any design tools or using Instagram itself. If you like this video and would like to learn more about visual content and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment, I'd love to hear your ideas for Instagram carousels. But for now, I'll see you next time.